my friend and welcome back. My name is Hannah and today I want to talk about new makeup releases. Um, I probably look as tired as I feel but please forgive me. Um, we're all human here. Uh, so even though I don't have anything on my face today, if you're interested in anything that I talk about in this video, I do always have links down below or at least like um, a release date if I can. Um, some things I don't think have released We'll get there when we get there. Um, I also link all of my sources down below. I mostly just hang out on Trend Mood because they will actually have dates. I follow a lot of different makeup brands on Instagram and things like that, but I don't know. I feel like the brand pages, they're kind of the worst to get makeup news from because I feel like they just tease a lot of things or they drop an announcement and then it's flooded, you know, because of the algorithm and then I just see Trend Mood anyway. So that's my trusted source. Um, but let me scoot over. I always insert pictures as well. So the first item I want to talk about, I'm actually pretty excited for. And Natasha Denona is releasing a new mini palette, but it is the Mini Crush Palette. So she had the Love Palette, which was the uh, holiday, like limited edition release for Valentine's Day last year, year before, year before that. I can't remember. I think it's fully discontinued now and I was lucky to get my hands on it before it was gone. I do not have the mini love palette, but I might get this mini crush palette because that might just go well with, really I'm just kind of convincing myself or like talking myself into it because it's pinks and purples and there's like a red shimmer in there and I, I know that I already want it. Um, and what's cool about the mini palettes is they're $25 and you're still getting a really interesting color story and it's something that could be a really good companion palette or something that you can use on your own and I think it's really awesome. I don't care so much for the brush. I always feel like when something comes with a brush, the brush isn't that great. I've heard hit or miss things about the brush so we'll see but I'm very excited. I don't know. I'm a big fan of Valentine's Day releases across the board whether it be makeup. Japan has these really cute chocolate boxes and oh my gosh, they have like a Gundam series right now and the tin can't, this is a makeup, <laughs> this is a makeup release video. Okay, um, so the next brand is Kiko Milano and they are releasing, what is this collection called? The Sweet Collection, Sweet Affairs. Um, there are so many different things that come in this collection. There's an eyeshadow palette, duo highlighter, duo blush, uh, three shades of a sweet kiss lip stylo, um, six shades of a sweet kiss duo liquid lip color, uh, there's a scent, there is delightful eyeshadow and three shades, I think they're eyeshadow singles, um, a face mask, a lip scrub, a lip balm, a mascara and eyeliner interesting and a double-ended mask brush and an eyeliner duo i okay so what i've heard people say about this collection is that they don't understand why the packaging is like chocolate but everything is very pink i see what they did here they made the packaging look like a box of chocolates and then when you open it you actually get the color story that i think most people would associate for valentine's day like by all means you could probably do a whole brown look for valentine's day but i think a lot of people like to wear pinks and reds and purples and things like that so of course those would be the colors on the inside but to have it in a cute little like chocolate box kind of thing I understand the appeal. I get it. I probably won't pick up any of this because I'm not really in the market for any of this. Like, I don't need a double-ended uh, mascara, but I think it's pretty cute. I, I like a good theme. Um, the next item, uh, if you loved the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream, Skin Tint, I think it was a CC cream. Um, they are coming out with the CC Powder Foundation in 30 shades, a primer infused pressed powder foundation that delivers buildable coverage and an airbrush finish. $11 in 30 shades, 12 are available on Ulta. Um, long wear buildable formula with medium to full coverage, yada 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 semi matte finish with an airbrushed shine free and even complexion so like a, a satin skin um i 
oh, I used to have a really big, big like obsession with powdered foundations because I thought that was the only thing that could work for my skin type because I can never get like liquid foundations to look right for on my skin. And then I realized I was using just like a bunch of like full coverage heavy, you know, it's not using a lot of product already, you're messing up, but then using something like super heavy like that when that's, <laughs> you're not doing a full beat. Um, I probably won't pick this up. I would, I like, I haven't tried the e.l.f. camo, but I'm not really interested to try it. I don't know. I feel like e.l.f. never really works out for me. Like, I have a lot of things that I want it to work for me, but I think out of e.l.f. and NYX, I lean more towards NYX, but I don't know. I like, I like that powdered foundations are kind of having a moment right now. I appreciate it. Um, the next one is ColourPop is releasing more of their quad shadows and this one seems to be, what are they calling these ones? There's no name, but they seem to all be kind of like food themed, which we've seen before. They have the strawberry sweet um, on the mango, feeling coconutty, acai, you baby. Hmm, interesting. Um, they're kind of monochromatic palettes, sort of, like, you get a purple eye, an orange eye, a brown eye, and a pink eye. I'm probably not going to pick these up. I, if you saw my ColourPop video from earlier this week, you already know that I have some quads that I want to play with, so I really don't need any more. I think it's interesting, though, that they're really taking off with these, um, quads, because I think... They are an amazing formula and I love that they have the super shocks in them because that is one of my favorite like metallic kind of shade formula. I just think that they're so awesome and the mattes in here are really nice. Couldn't recommend it more. If this is calling to you, I say try it out. Otherwise, they have a whole other slew of um, <laughs> shades and collections that you could pick from if this isn't like one of your color families. Uh, Speaking of ColourPop, they're also coming out with a powdered foundation and it is the um, Pretty Fresh Pressed Face Powders coming soon on their website. I think it's already out now by the time I'm making this. Like I'm pretty sure. Let me double check. Yes, these, these babies are out. There's 18 skin perfecting shades developed and perfected for 42 plus skin tones, includes pressed powder puff, skin loving ingredients like sunflower seed and cucumber fruit extract, vegan and cruelty free $14. I, okay, I probably wouldn't get the e.l.f. but I probably would get the ColourPop one if I was looking for something like this. The shade range looks pretty cool. I can see this as like if you are a skin tint lover and you just kind of wanted to press in and maybe get a little bit more coverage. I could see you using something like this if you weren't already using like powders. Like I don't know, I always set my under eye with like my NYX uh, banana. So I don't know why I would need something else, but I don't know, maybe I'll be interested in a powdered foundation, who knows. Um, Pixie is doing a collab with Hello Kitty and there's two eyeshadow palettes, two of those like shimmery blush highlight shades, um, an eyeliner, a face mask, an under eye mask. Um, there's quite a few things in here. It seems to all be kind of apple themed if you liked that. Um, I, I like Hello Kitty, but I don't think I'm like a huge Hello Kitty person. I like, I like Pom Pom Purin, I like Retsuko, I like Kropi, I like Pachaco, um, I like the little sea monster, I forget his name, but he's blue and he's cute, I'll probably have pictures of all of them as I say them, um, I, <sighs> I know every like I know everyone knows Hello Kitty from Sanrio the same way everyone knows Pikachu from Pokemon. I know, I get it, but I would so love a Pom Pom Purin like collab. If we got twin stars, can I get a Pom Pom Purin please? Or at least a Retsuko, because she has a show on Netflix that's pretty popular. I know this is skincare and not makeup, but I just want to talk about it because it is the Powerpuff Girls. Um, but what is this brand called? I always see them at Ulta. Duh, duh, duh. 
I don't know what this brand is called, but they, I know they have like this like unicorn stuff and I know this is like super trendy on the internet. I, I like the little acne patch stickers. I think that's really cute, you know? Um, I, I'm not gonna buy any of this. And I think it's kind of lame that like, it's supposed to be Powerpuff Girl themed, but all they used was pink, green, and blue. And then there's like a picture of the girls like this big on the packaging. Like what Like what exactly are you paying for? Um, but there's the Super Fierce Power Shine Pre-Shave Serum. And then a What's Up Buttercup Super Soft After Shave Butter. And then the No Troubles Bubbles Super Smooth Shaving Cream. Now, I know we can read but if I was just looking at this at a glance, the Buttercup and Bubbles product, like they almost look like the same color in the packaging. So, oh, I almost put this in my basket and then I realized I need to not spend money on things like ever again. And I don't need any more lip products. Hana, cut it out. You don't need any more. Um, but Sephora has like a lip collection. It comes with a NARS product a lawless gloss, um, a Too Faced gloss, and like these are all really pretty shades, but if I'm being honest, I already have them. But if you are someone that can spend money and you like this kind of stuff, I'd say get it. Because I don't know, I think these little Sephora packet, like the assorted packaging, or what am I trying to say? I think these Sephora like uh, little duos or whatever you want to call them, I think they're really, really neat in that I think they put like really popular things in these collections for you to try. Um, so that's not bad. Oh, this was the one I wanted to talk about because I've been waiting for this. And I think, I think the day that this goes up, it'll be out. So if you were like me and you wanted this, it's out. Go to Sephora right now. Go, run, please. But Fenty is releasing the new heat gloss in the shade Lemon Lava. I'm going to tell you right now, I love the Fenty heat glosses. I think they're my favorite plumping lip gloss formula of all time. I love this gloss. It makes my lips look really good. Anytime I want to look really awesome, I'm always putting on my Fenty gloss. So I really want this yellow one. I think it's really pretty and... I'm gonna get it even though I know that I shouldn't be spending money and I shouldn't be buying any more lip products. I have a problem. <laughs> um, Fenty is also releasing two more of the um, glass bomb clip-on luminizers, like the, or the glass bomb dip, excuse me. These are $19, there's hot choco lit and fussy. And look, Everyone in the comments says that this is so great for makeup artists and then you read the reviews on like Sephora and they say like dude I dropped it and it cracked and like the packaging is so cheap or like it's so sticky whatever. I don't know. You let me know. I think we can all tell as adults if we like something that comes in a tube or something that comes in a pot. Like I don't know. Some people don't like potted concealers but here I am having both. You know what I mean? I don't know. Um, it's up to you. I think they're very pretty colors and I can see where this could work for people or not work for people. I don't know. I'm personally not going to pick this up because I know that I don't like things like this because I don't like to dip my fingers in things really unless I know that I can wash my hands directly after. And then if I have something like this that's like so much easier to put on, I'm going to go with that. Uh, oh, another ColourPop item. Um, the All Amethyst palette with nine shades. What a pretty color palette, but then I realized that this is just the She's and Parties color story. But look, maybe you can't afford Melt. Maybe you don't like Melt. Maybe you don't want to support Melt, but you really love that color story. You can get it from ColourPop. I don't know when this is going live. Oh, it should already be live now because it says tomorrow. Actually, as I'm posting this, it should be live. So check ColourPop if you like this color palette. Like I said, I think it's pretty, but it's already a color palette that I, that I have. This might be the last thing, but uh, Makeup by Mario is releasing the Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serum. $22 each. What is a lip serum? And why is it not like a lip gloss or a lip balm? Why do we just get fancy things 
fancy names to things because it, it almost just looks like the ColourPop uh, tinted or blotted lip. <sighs> we'll see. The, the shades look absolutely wonderful and pretty and cute. But if I'm being honest, I'm probably going to go with this and put my gloss on top of it. So not for me, but let me know if you get it and try it and love it because the swatches look absolutely gorgeous. So there's not really any indie news to update you guys on. Um, it seems like that's it as far as releases go. So let me know in the comments down below what caught your eye. What are you interested in purchasing? Um, are you like me and you like Valentine's Day? I am very much a sucker for cute little trinkets that come with chocolate because I already eat chocolate all year long like a crazy person. I'm pretty sure I have like a sugar addiction um, because I can't go a day without eating candy. That's not good. <laughs> you think I'm joking, but I'm not. I'm being absolutely serious. Um, but love to hear your thoughts and opinions down below and I will see you next week for some new videos. I'm pretty excited because I already know what I'm going to be filming tomorrow and I just, I had to put it off a little bit so I could get my indie week stuff sorted out, but I'm excited. Oh, I should also probably tell you, I think I'm going to paint this white. I think that's what I'm going to do. I got to adjust some furniture around so then I can do some better lighting situation in here, but I think I'm going to paint this white and I think I'm going to remove these plants. I have some art that I want to put up and I think I want to put a shelf so I can put some of my figures back there. If my figures get to me this week, I will do an Ami Ami unboxing. I, if you don't know what Ami Ami is, it's definitely not makeup, so you might not like it. But if you like anime figures and anime trinkets and I don't know, I think I'm getting something from Jojo in this next order. I think or is it my Attack on Titan stickers? I'm getting something fun, I'm getting something cool, and I will show you, I will unbox it if I get it. I don't know, still waiting. Um, but I will see you guys next week. Have a good weekend, stay safe, bye.